Hey guys, Cody with Double C Custom Leather. Coming to you guys again today with a uh, quick video. Um, this is gonna be a quick tip, more of a beginner's tip than for your seasoned leather crafter. Um, but today's video is gonna be on uh, how to bevel edges on your leather. Uh, your edges are very important on your products. Uh, not only does it make it aesthetically pleasing, but it also makes it uh, more comfortable if it's a wearable item. Um, this is the first step in your edge process. Um, your next steps would obviously be to dye them if you choose to do so, um, burnish them, and then wax them um, to seal them up. And you can omit any of those, really, um, and I see it done all the time. That's just my personal way of doing my edges. If you want to check out one of our edge videos, I'll put one up in the in the corner. Um, go ahead and click there and I'll show you how to do that. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm going to do a short little drawing segment here. Um, and I apologize, I'm not the best artist, but I'm going to do a quick little drawing segment just to kind of basically map out what we're trying to accomplish in this video. And then we'll uh, get the camera turned around and get started on beveling some actual leather bevel a couple scrap pieces and I got a project we actually have to bevel so um, you guys stay tuned uh, make sure to like and subscribe at the end of the video and uh, let us know what you think okay guys so you may be asking yourself what is a beveled edge um, so when you get your leather from the store and you cut your leather into whatever shape you want this is what an unbeveled edge looks like okay now <clears throat> let me draw this a little bigger so you can see it this corner right here if your cut was straight up and down should be about 90 degrees so what we're going to do when we bevel the edge is we're going to run our beveling tool across this edge right here and that's if we want one bevel, we can do two bevels across the edge here. And sorry guys, I'm not the best artist in the world, okay? Um, and then what you're going to be left with it just is an edge that looks similar to this. Now as you can see, this is a lot less of a, uh, of a hard angle than this 90 degree angle up here. So when we run our beveler our, our slickers over it this get this turns rounded this turns rounded this turns rounded and this turns rounded and it, eventually what you end up with is more of a rounded edge like so okay. all right guys so <clears throat> for the purpose of this video um, we're gonna be using two different bevelers um, these are pretty much the two ones that I always use in my shop this is a number two um, you can see the the distance between the two prongs up there is just a hair smaller than this one. That's a number three. I hope that shows up on the on the video. Um, you can tell there's just a little bit of size difference. Two being the smaller number, smaller smaller edge bevel. Three being the larger number, larger edge bevel. So I've got a scrap piece of leather here. This is just my punch pad, what I normally punch my leather on. Um, we're going to use the two for all of this. <clears throat> really important in between you're uh, using your beveler to strop it um, and I just use some polishing compound on a leather strop and I just you just basically pull it back and get that burr knocked off the edge so if let's say we're beveling this straight edge right here what you would do is you take your your beveler hold, hold it at a 45 degree angle to the edge and then you just simply push it down the edge and you're left with just a little string and if you can see this is now beveled off try to get that up close and show you and then on the back side you're going to do the same thing I'm going to use a number three just to make things a little bit more easy to see and then now your edge will be rounded completely off and beveled See there what I'm talking about with the edge. And then when we go ahead and when we finish that edge with our with our burnishing, it ended up really nice. Now if you're gonna do a curved edge like so, uh, same concept, you're gonna start. And one of the tricks that I've learned is always turn the work. If you turn the work, you can keep a continuous bevel 
and keep on going. All the way around, just like that. And that's how that's done. We'll get the project out, flip the camera, get the project out here, and uh, I'll show you guys what we have to double today. All right, guys, so this is the project we're going to be doing today. Um, if you uh, watched our wet molding video for the Glock 43, this is the same holster. It's got the smoke paint job inside the waistband holster. Um, if you guys want to see uh, a video of this of this paint job and how I accomplish it, let me know. I'll show you my uh, how I do it and my airbrush setup and all that good stuff. So <clears throat> with this holster in particular, all of the inside portions have been already beveled. Um, I bevel them before I, before I glue up and stitch. So the only places that need to be bevel is from here, at the top of the stitch line, all the way around to here on both sides. So this will be another example of doing a bevel on a curve. Um, and I'm using my bigger beveler, this is a number three. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and get started. You should be able to see this pretty good too because it's dyed and it'll come off raw leather colored. And then I just fe feather that in. This is all beveled with a number two and I just feather that in. So if you see, this is a lot easier to see the, what this actually does. So we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And because there's this clip on the outside, this part is just a, just a little bit tough to do, but usually if you're careful, you can do it all in one swipe. And if you, if you don't get it all in one swipe, don't worry. Um, that's neither here nor there. I just think it makes it a little bit neater bevel. Um, you can get it all in one swipe, and that's that. If you look at how rounded that edge is now, and that'll make a beautiful edge when we go back and do our edges on this holster. All right, guys, so that does it. Um, that's how you bevel your edges. Uh, hopefully, I answered any questions any of you newbies may have. Um, if you have any questions, otherwise, just send them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them when I can. Um, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, follow, and uh, comment with uh, what you think of the video. Thanks. Take care, guys.